as a Christian, Naomi, can you literally leave your house without praying in the morning? But as a water member, you even forget praying sometimes. It's not true every time you do it. But you are protected because, like I defined, the spirits already know the intent of your heart. So they already know you. But other religion, the moment you miss prayer, guilt is on you. You started feeling guilty. And you see that it is not the prayer you miss that brought predicament, but the guilt inside of you brought the predicament. And so guilt is packaged as salvation to us by other religion. The constant fear that Allah is going to kill me, Allah will send me to hellfire. That's constant fear that God will punish me. That fear is not in the African spirituality. So within the African spirituality, the ancestors, the gods we worship, they already know your heart. They know you cannot, in your right sense, forget a ritual. That is where grace comes in. That is where mercy comes in. That is why I said, your action may or can attract the grace of the gods, but your heart will do more. They know your heart more than you know yourself. You know when you lie, but sometimes your body and your psychology will make you want to say that you are not lying, but the spirit already know your first action that you have lied. So when you come to the water religion and you say, I want to be a water member, they already know you are coming because you are suffering. They already know you are coming because you want to pay your debt. Mercy will not be mercy, mercy, not grace. Mercy will not be the one that will decide whether your suffering will be reduced or not. But guess what? I don't pray for mercy. I pray for grace. Because by virtue of my service, mercy is, a, is inevitable a right, a birthright. When mercy becomes a birthright to you by the gods, even your ancestors will worship you. When mercy becomes a right, even your ancestors will worship you. When grace comes as a gift from the ancient water, <laughs> men worship. Mercy makes the gods, write it down, Uzi Ben said, mercy makes your ancestor worship and reverend you. Mercy makes the gods, oh look, who stand in your reverence in all of who you are. When the ancient waters and the ancient spirits blesses you with mercy, the gods bow to your very existence. When grace is gifted to you by the ancient waters, men worship. So grace brings about effortless struggle for success, for physical success, for physical gratification. Why mercy is the effortless struggle to assess the spiritual. Mm. Uh, I don't know if, if you guys know that's what I just told you guys now, eh? you'll be clapping, be clapping because it's not me that is talking, it's Uzi that is talking. 